This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. I'm just an entertainer relaxing on my recliner, starting to kind of fall asleep a little bit again, get a little tired. Uh, probably will be one of my last videos. <laughs> Making so many videos. The one and only eight father, just kind of like relaxing. Got my feet up. Wow! Nice and comfortable here. Um, I got to just say, that finance news, you know, that channel, that clickbait uh, AMC YouTube channel, it's like the guy doesn't stop with the clickbait, man. It's just every single video is clickbait. Like, I mean, like, does it, like, I, let me just tell you a little bit about myself, okay? Like, have I connived in my life? Yeah, absolutely. Like, when I was going to high school, like, I'll give you an example. You know, it's funny, my mom worked in the same high school that I went to during the time I went to the high school. And she was so popular by Bob, you know, all the girls loved her. In a way, look, you know, I used it to my benefit. You know, I met a lot of girls that way, you know, <laughs> they were like, I love your mother so much. And she's doing, I said, like, come over, listen, you want to come to my house for dinner? Come on, my my mom will be there. You know, I was like, yeah, oh, forget about it. You know, those are the good old days. But anyway, my wife's sleeping. <laughs> but anyway, had some, have, had some fun. Thanks, mom. <laughs> but you're like, okay, getting back to finance, finance news is that like, I understand like you connive, you know, you use, he's using this platform as a way, I guess, to get a lot of views and he, he's giving the people what they want to hear. I can do it too. Like you don't, do you think for one second that it did, did it occur to me that I could just make every video ready? Every single video, uh, you know, force margin call, uh, squeeze is coming tomorrow. AMC will be at a uh, million dollars. I could do this every video, but you know, I just can't in good faith do that because there are people's real money is on the line here. And even though I'm not a financial planner and this is purely for entertainment and you know, I'm not a financial advisor. I don't give financial advice. I still have a heart. Now look, do I believe in AMC in the sense that we will have the squeeze? Yes, because the shorts have not been covered, but nobody knows when. That's the thing. And all of these channels, like Finance News, they keep acting like they have some kind of crystal ball, like they know exactly what's going to happen. I was just watching this video, something about that there's a forced margin call, I think, coming right now. They are forced to cover, he said. This was his last video. So, so, like, so let me ask you, like, let me ask you just a very simple question. Okay, so if they don't cover, like, let's say a day goes by, a week goes by, <laughs> two weeks goes by, a month goes by, Two months goes by, three months goes by. I'm just saying, you know, just just for, for the sake of conversation. So can't we then go back to that video and just call this piece of garbage out, finance news, and just say, listen to me, remember this video where you say they were forced to cover, they had to do it? Okay, they didn't do it. And everybody should just tell this guy off, break his balls. Like, but you see, I don't really see that. You know, I got to tell you, I see like brainless zombies. Like, God forgive me for saying this. It's like that. I feel like watching that movie right now. I might actually throw that on before before I go to sleep. Daughter to was it Daughter to Dead? You know that guy? Or was it Vid Rhymes? I love Vid Rhymes. A great actor, man. Pulp Fiction, Marcellus Wallace. But it's like sometimes they, it's like I feel like people are just like these brainless zombies that they just want you to keep giving them the Kool Aid. Just keep giving them the Kool Aid, and, and they'll. They'll just keep drinking it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just give me the Kool-Aid. Yeah, baby. I want to hear that. There's going to be a force margin call tomorrow. I want to hear that I'm going to be a millionaire tomorrow. I'm going to wake up and my account's going to go from like, you know, 500 to 500 million. You know, whatever. Listen, we all want to be rich. I want to be rich. What do you think? Well, no, everyone wants to be rich, but you got to also kind of like have some sort of like a realistic, you know, plan. You know what I mean? And I just think with AMC, the realistic plan is very simple. You hold until the shorts are covered and whenever you have the opportunity to buy, do it. You know, you're only going to increase your shares. You're going to increase you know, the potential of money you can make. Again, I'm not giving financial advice. It's entertainment purposes only. But the thing is, that's what we could do. That's it. 
and you wait this out, you outweigh the hedge funds. Remember, they're paying interest. You're not. You're not paying like almost 300% interest a year. So at some point, they're going to want it to end. It might be sooner than later. You don't know. But I'm just so sick and tired of these people. I just want to choke them. I really do. Like I, might, I would want to maybe go into jail, God forbid, if I saw this guy in person. Because it's just like, it's like, stop the friggin' clickbait, man. People are already disgusted. They're already down. Like, like you, the, the, you want to bring them up, but you want to bring them up with something real. You know, like, see, I don't know. Maybe I'm just different. I just feel like just being funny brings people up. Like, you know, like if I do my testicle analysis and, you know, my dogs are barking and, you know, whatever. It makes people laugh. That brings people up. Like, why do you have to lie to people? Like, why do you have to make up stories? Why do you have to say there's going to be a forced margin call tomorrow? Why do you have to be JP Morgan? There's going to be a forced margin call. The SEC is going to be a margin call. Like, why did he, pe why did I have to do this? You want to know why? For self greed. That's it. They're only interested in themselves. And I hate to say it, but that's kind of like what I'm starting to feel with Uncle Festa, man. I'm really, I doubt he owns any AMC. I really do. I doubt he owns any AMC. And I see something in common with Finance News and Uncle Festa. They're just telling you what you want to hear. They're just, they're continuously giving you that Kool-Aid. You love the taste of the Kool-Aid. And you just keep going back for more. Watching them, watching them, getting them more views, more subscriptions, more money. More money on YouTube. Now you might say, but hey, Father, you're doing the same thing. But I'm not lying to you. I'm not, and, and I'm not even close to like, I'll go faster and lose some subscriptions and views. But the thing is, I'm not lying. I'm just being myself. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> this is America. We do live in a capitalist country. And if someone has a platform where they're making people laugh, I just saw I'm getting a text message. It's amazing. I'm getting text messages at like three o'clock in the morning for babes. The thing is this, if you have a platform where you're making people laugh, that's fine. And you're entertaining people. You have the right to get views and make money on YouTube. I never said there was anything wrong with Lou, you know, Uncle Festa making money on YouTube. But when you're lying to people and people's money are at stake and people are really putting their faith and their trust and their hope in you and their hope in your channel and your, what you're saying, and you're just blatantly just a compulsive pathological liar who just lies every day about having secret connections. It's amazing that I just keep getting text messages. It's another text message is coming in. It's absolutely incredible. Sometimes I think YouTube is not doing the right thing either with me because I, I, I get so many messages and yet I'm getting so little views. It's like, I don't know, it's weird. That's another thing that makes you go home. But anyway, stop the clickbait. I think we should all just get on every single AMC YouTuber with clickbait. Stop the clickbait. AMC to Pluto.